Water is starting to flow again in South LA after a water main break. The 24 inch main burst overnight on Manchester Avenue and Hoover Street just west of the 110 freeway. CBS 2's Joy Benedict shows us the streets were flooded out. It was quite a scene in South LA where a road once was now simply water. This is a big roadblock. Trayvon Morgan knew better than to drive through it. I have a Chevy Impala. My car sits low. Yet car after car, truck and more trucks couldn't find higher ground. This driver insisted she could get through, but eventually backed out with her hood smoking. Water just gushing out like crazy. Tens of thousands of gallons of water rushed down Manchester Avenue, turning this usually busy boulevard into a river. Horrible. Look at it. They look like they can swim. Look at that. Yeah, you can go swimming in there. The water started early around four Sunday morning when a century old water pipe busted about three feet below the surface. Water flowed a foot high, diverted buses, and left many unsure how to get around. The whole driveway is flooded. It's like two feet high. It's like. Can't nobody else pull out the driveway. But turning off the water wasn't easy. This was a 24 inch pipe that burst because it has so much pressure. They had to turn it off slowly so as not to cause problems with other pipes. It took five hours to stop the water. First crew shut down the small pipes around it. Then they attacked the busted main on both sides. The valve they're shutting down right now is 190 turns, so it takes time to shut it down. The shutdown cut off water to about two dozen customers, but neighbors all over felt the drain. We have water, but the pressure is real low. The pressure underground was so strong it left a crack 10 yards long and buckled the roadway. That part right there looks like the Hoover Dam busted open. But eventually the water stopped and crews started cleaning. And although some puddles remained, on a hot summer day, they eventually became more of a playground than a problem. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.